The enormous vacuum chamber makes a high vacuum, which is three levels before the supposed much higher vacuum of outer space, as we can see here. Considering that the, the suits these guys here are wearing reminded me of one thing, bubble wrap. Now let's see what happens to bubble wrap if we put it in a table vacuum pump. Oh my god, look at it! Woo! Oh my god, look at it! The ridiculous spacesuits, which the Hollywood and NASA Freemasons like for us to accept as real, would suffer the same fate in the vacuum of space as bubble wrap in a tabletop vacuum chamber, being popped and depleted of oxygen instantly. And seeing as the human body mainly consists of water, the following clip will demonstrate what would happen to these astronauts. You can see a little bit of bubbles start going and whoa start boiling. How cool is that? But the ultimate and most dangerous test was a huge, specially constructed vacuum chamber. They were able to pull all the air out to create a big vacuum. That way we could test our suits to make sure there was no leakage. One such test narrowly avoided disaster. Jim LeBlanc was the test subject in the vacuum chamber. This is one of the rare instances where they try to use a spacesuit in a vacuum chamber but quickly realized that it's impossible in a high vacuum, so they immediately started using swimming pools to train and remained silent on the absence of vacuum chamber training by astronauts, which basically is a lie by omission. As I stumbled backwards, I could feel the saliva on my tongue starting to bubble just before I went unconscious. And that's kind of the last thing I remember Essentially, he had no pressure on the outside of his body, and that's a very unusual case to get, and there's very little in the medical literature as to what happens when you have that. There's a lot of conjecture, you know, that your fluids will boil, you know, that your fluids will boil. You can see a little bit of bubble start going. I could feel the saliva on my tongue starting to bubble. They weren't able to construct proper space suits, and they didn't want their spacemen to get boiled, so they went to the swimming pool. Here's where they simulate fixing a space shuttle, fixing the ISS, or working with other modules. It is, it's the same as far as every rail, as far as every bolt, as far as where every rail should be in place. They have to go turn a bolt 98 times in space. And which ISS module is in the pool right now? Pretty much the everything that we have in the pool except for the Russian segment. We they went from a no pressure environment to a pressure environment, which makes no sense and simulates zero gravity only and exclusively for the camera. First up Venus, which looks like a coin in a very shallow stream of water. But what really caught my eye was Sirius. Made possible by microscopic photography, we can see that this crystal from distilled water bears a striking resemblance to the star Sirius.
pitcher, steroid Santa Claus, kicks and deals. It's a long fly ball going back, back. And the ball shatters the sky, bringing the ocean itself down into the stadium. Oh, Simpson just broke this dream's reality wide open.